and now I'm the deceased wife of Mr. Earl T. Rogers. I've been gone now for about five years, and I remember that very day I closed my eyes for the last time. I went on to bed, lay down, closed my eyes, and I never woke up. So I leave behind Earl and four children, adult children that is, three boys and one girl. Foster, that's my eldest. He came to me one day and he said, Mama, I'm going to New York and I'm going to be a successful businessman just like my pop. Baby, you go on. You be that successful businessman. Then there's Mike. Mike is a little quiet, keep to himself, never moved away from home, never got married nor had children. I would have to get on Earl because Earl will fuss at that boy all the time. I get this, I do this, I come here. Earl, leave the boy alone. Then there's that thing. I think he's the very one that put me in the grave. That boy put that throw so much pain, always in trouble with the law. Must. 
Lord gonna send me to early grave. He know I used to keep my breakfast by now. My God! My God! Oh, man. Boy, bring your behind in here. Hurry up, too. H hurry up. I'll be in here now, boy. What is it, bro? What, what is it? What, what is it, boy? I am home. I've been waiting on you all morning long. Now hurry up and get my food in here. You understand me? Sorry, bro. What would you like to eat? What do I eat every morning? Boy, what do I eat every morning? Boy, you, boy, you gonna send me to the You know if your mama was alive, she'd have had my breakfast a whole hour and a half ago. Now get your old nerve behind her and get me something to eat. Boy, I tell you, no good, lazy bum, you boy. <laughs> and, and, and this old paper here, I want my today's paper. Bring my paper in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, and Michael, what time did your brother Damien say he coming over here? About one o'clock. One o'clock, one o'clock. Boy, you, you better watch who you messing with. Boy, come sit down somewhere. Don't play with me. One o'clock. Give me plenty of time to get some rest. And boy, say you want to talk about some beer. I tell you what, I ain't got time for the boy's foolishness and yours either this morning. Good. Here, boy. You, what, what you gonna do when I 
around here no more to take care of your mistake. We've been taking care of your mistake ever since your mama was alive, Papa. Look, man, I'm going to pay you back before you die. Well, you, you make sure you do that. Come on, boy. Hey, lazy one, come on in. Give me to my room. Look, come here. You, the bed, come on. My baby. Look, you know something? Mm -hmm. If you was just a little bit more, just, just a little bit, boy, half, half a little bit, your brother Faustinus, you might be worth something in life. I told you, boy, about feeding me through this house. <laughs> I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to take false state control of everything, so we have to go run crawling to him to get what we need. He control of what, man? The will, the inheritance. What do you think, man? You know what? Take it easy. No, it's not that easy. He thinks he's going to write me off over my dead body. Or his. <laughs>